After a short break from the summer heat, the mercury is rising again. Our highs tomorrow will reach the 90s. That is a 15 to 20 degree difference from so far this week. The entire regional power grid reached its max during our heat wave two weeks ago. Home cooling can account for about half of a summertime electric bill. Our Erin Hassanzada is here to remind us how to keep our usage down, but she also looked at how our system works to keep all our homes running during a hot month like this, Erin. Yeah, Amelia, remember when we turned the AC back on that some say turning the thermostat up even just one degree could save you 3% or more on your cooling. And it also puts less strain on our power grid, which to its credit has made it through things like the polar vortex a few years ago and that early June heat wave. We've had the hottest start to June on record. With more AC cranking days on the way, we wondered how our power grid is handling the heat. We have to keep reliability, affordability, and um, clean all three in nice balance with each other. In Minnesota, 55% of our state's electrical power is carbon free, 29% from renewables like solar or wind, and 26% from nuclear power. We're also part of the MISO energy grid that we trade with regularly to keep prices down. But if there's extreme weather like a heat wave, we rely on energy sharing within the grid to power our homes. Reliability becomes the first priority. So during a short period, maybe a day, Day, maybe uh, two hours in that day, they will draw power from uh, other parts of uh, MISO that are not, uh, whose energy mix is not green as Minnesota. Minnesota does relatively well when it comes to energy efficiency. We're much better than our neighbors. And we're making progress. Our electrical grid is significantly cleaner than it used to be. But we still waste more than half of the energy we consume, mostly by burning fossil fuels or powering big buildings and cars, though some of it is on us. The cheapest and cleanest form of energy is the one that you don't use. So how can we use less, right? I mean, I think a lot of us know the common ones, turn your thermostat up, maybe change your AC filter, use ceiling fans, draw the blinds. But one that I don't think of all the time, Amelia, is to use my dishwasher, my washer and dryer after those peak hours. That'll keep your house cooler and put less strain on our precious power grid. Thanks for that tip. All right, Erin, thank you.